Hi guys, it is Lisa. I have, let me move this here. I have been MIA for a few days due to a horrible, horrible, horrible migraine spell. So when I have them really bad, they usually put me in bed for a couple days. So, I still have a headache, but it's uh, manageable right now. But I am going to be doing an acrylic pour. I don't want to deal with the heat and the resin and the mask and all that stuff right now. So the acrylic paints don't have a smell. So I just don't want to bring on more. So anyway, getting on with it. Um, the other day I was cleaning my house and I had spilt some red Kool-Aid on the counter. So I took, um, I was in the middle of loading the dishwasher, so I just took one of my napkins and I just kind of like threw it on the counter while I finished the dishwasher and then I was going to come and wipe it up. Well, when I turned around, there was this <laughs> red spot. <laughs> and I know a lot of pourers notice this stuff. So normally, you probably wouldn't even notice, but because we do this kind of art, <laughs> we notice. This red spot came up through the napkin and it like created like these little beautiful little fractals <laughs> and tendrils or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. But I thought, hmm, okay, so I'm going to try something. I'm going to try a um, paper towel dip. So I'm going to try to make a abstract flowery type thing. All right. So, like I said, in most of my videos, this is what I have in my head. It does not necessarily mean how it's going to turn out but we're going to give it a go give it give it a go all right so i uh this is just regular artist loft um white acrylic paint mixed with some flow trawl a tad of liquitex pouring medium just a bit just a bit and I'm going to put a base coat down first. I just mix this. And I did strain my flow trawl. Seems like it might be a little bit thick. Don't want a real thick base coat, but I do want it covered and I want it completely flat. That's why I'm not using anything to spread it. I'm just going to pour it. And I'm going to do my corners and my edges. Because I won't be tilting. Well, I don't plan on tilting. Oh, you know what I did forget to do? I forgot to tape the back of this canvas. Yep, sure did. Oh, well, I'll have to just sand the back, I guess, if the paint's super bad. Okay. 
And I'm just going to kind of drizzle like a partial. Just put some colors in the middle of it. So I am using um, crap. I'm using hang on, I gotta get a napkin. This is like a Mod Podge of colors with this purple. It started out as iris purple, then it went to like a purple ink. And now I just added um, Artist Loft metallic purple to it. So it's a bunch of different colored purples. So, um, one second, I'm gonna get rid of these bubbles. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of put some purple paint in here. Looks like that purple paint might have a little bit of silicone in it too because it's reacting. Oops. There's some orange. This is Artist Loft Lemon Yellow. put two different greens and I'm just kind of going to splatter them here. to get them next to the other ones just for two different tones in my head this is going to be a leafy area all right let me get the bubbles out again Okay, so it's just a regular paper towel. And I'm going to just lay it on top. I don't know if this has ever been done before. I'm sure it has. We try to do everything. So I'm just kind of like going to squeeze out a little bit. Just so that it's kind of smooshing. I guess it's kind of like a canvas smoosh when you do a design and then smoosh another canvas. But my plan is to try to get, instead of pulling it this way or that way, I'm going to try to get it to where everything's up except for the middle. All right. So I'm going to pull here. You know what? My art room doesn't use bounty. So it might break. <laughs> And then lift it up. I 
Yeah, one of those colors had silicone in it. Kind of cute. You can kind of just gonna kind of swirl these so the middle doesn't look so boring. Watch, here I go. I'm going to mess it up. Cool, huh? All right, let me go move this, and we are going to just want to get the edges cleared off here. I'm going to move this over to the other side and then I'm going to try it again and try to smoosh a little bit more. Over to the drying rack. And I don't have this one. I have it prepped, I just don't have it taped. <laughs> Look at that. It's a pretty little flowery thing. Okay. All right. So I'll try it again real quick. I didn't want this video to be super long. Because my next video that I put up is going to be about my giveaway. I am going to have a 500 sub giveaway and the winner will get a choice of a lot of different things. So I will explain that in my next video. So I'm just doing the same thing, oops, except this time I'm throwing paint all over the place. Just wanted to have a nice base coat.
I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing. But I am gonna make it a little bit bigger, I think. Purple. Orange. Lemon yellow. dark green and this is the spring green. Just doing like two different colors of green because then it will give like a dimension to the leaves because leaves aren't always the same color. Torch. Then I'm going to get my paper towel. Set it in there. Make sure it's touching. I'm gonna smash it out a little bit more. The inspiration we get while cleaning our house and having mistakes, eh? Maybe a paper towel wasn't the best idea, but it's fine. It could be fine. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna lift it up. Don't break, don't break. Oh crap, I had two paper towels here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I didn't like that. Let's do it again. Hmm. Let me just kind of spread this out a little bit. Just so that the paint's not all just sitting in the middle. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try something different. I have an airbrush, but for some reason I can't get it to work properly, and it did not come with instructions. So I got to look up the instructions. Seriously, where did it go? Alright, I'll just have to cut a different piece. Alright. Got a little piece of tubing.
See this when I think I put too much paint on it? Ugh. So I'm going to have to put my leaves back there again. Because otherwise you're not going to see them. I don't like this one as much as I like the other one. So here I go. I'm going to do it again. Smash, smash. I wonder if I should pull it a different way. You know what? Let me just pull it. And it'll kind of make a... mess. <laughs> Ooh, look at them cells popping up. Almost like a swipe. Hmm. The color muddy on this yet? I already don't like it, so I don't really have anything to lose. So I'm just kind of paper toweling it to death right now. Just to add some color everywhere. Because if nothing else, it could be a really pretty brat little background for something. This one's got lots of paint spill on it. Almost like a swipe balloon dip. <laughs> Alright, well we're going to go ahead and call this a background. Not a total fail. Kind of cool looking. I would do a balloon dip on it, but I only have huge balloons. Yeah, this is going to make a really good background for something. I don't know what, but remember this video because I will refer to it when I'm getting ready to do a background on something. So there you have it. The first one turned out good. We'll call it a paper towel dip 
painting. <laughs> so, all right, let me go put this one over there. To dry. And I'll have to do my Tammy Anderson Paint It Forward campaign 2019. Let me make sure that's in sight. Uh, my first shout out is Jules Madison. Um, her, go check out her channel. Uh, she's doing some really cool stuff. She does, uh, acrylics, resin, alcohol inks. Go check out her video of how she made a chessboard with, uh, acrylics and resin. Super cool. My second one is Naptime Creations. Uh, Tish over there, she does resin and acrylics. Um, both are fairly new channels, so... Go give them some love. They're doing really wonderful things. So, all right, guys, that is it for right now. And uh, please subscribe if you already haven't. And uh, give me a like. Put a comment down there. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you soon. I'm going to upload a video about my uh, 500 uh, subscriber video giveaway. And, uh, so check that out. Talk to you guys later. See ya.